and the citizens of this state, this county, this country, we need to see an end to the terrorizing of black lives of our communities across this country at the hands of killer cops. institution of policing, we're at a stage where it's time to perhaps throw the current system out the window. Yeah. Yeah. And I know that's controversial for some people who've only had to deal with officer friendly, who have a completely different experience with police officers than many people of color, poor people, homeless people, people with disabilities, people who are part of the LGBT community, who are treated in a manner that demeans them and denies their, their human dignity. We're saying enough is enough. I'm tired of the bloodshed. I'm tired of people feeling unsafe in their own community. There's a way to do policing in a more humane fashion. But right now, we're at a place where just about anything goes. No worries, I will. Fuck. He just shot his arm off. We got pulled Whoa. over on Larpener. I told him not to reach for it. I told him to get his hand off it. He had, you told him to get his ID, sir, and his driver's license. Oh my God, please don't tell me he's dead. Please don't tell me my boyfriend just went like that. I saw my nephew shot by a man clinging to his life, you know, and with, with no help. It, it was the most horrific thing I ever seen in my life. Yeah. We hear about things like this happening all the time around the United States and the world, you know, people being harmed and abused by people that we're supposed to trust with our lives, people that are supposed to protect serve and serve. protect us. And they, they tend to be our executioners and judges and murderers. I basically think that these things are happening because there is no checks and balances in the justice system and that uh, a lot of our African American men, women and children are being executed by the police and there are no consequences so in essence I feel like it's becoming more and more repetitive. Every day you hear of another black person being shot down, gunned down by the people that are supposed to protect us. My son was a law-abiding citizen and he did nothing wrong. He had a permit to carry. But in all, with all of that, trying to do the right things and live accordingly by the law, he was killed by the law. Um, and it's devastating to us all. I'm outraged. Philando Castile's blood is on our hands. Yes, Jamar Clark's blood is on our hands. Yes, Terrence Franklin's blood is on our hands. Yes, Fong Lee's blood is on our hands. Yes, Phil Quinn's blood is on our hands. Marcus Golden's blood is on our hands. Yes, and those are just the people in the state of Minnesota who've been killed and it's not even the full list. Yes, the blood is on our hands. Black lives being slaughtered is nothing new in this country. State-sanctioned violence in this country against black bodies is not new. But we are tired. Are we tired? Yes! I'm tired.
System. We're about ending the system of a system that gives impunity to police for killing us. This is for Tamir. This is for Rita. This is for Terrence. This is for Jamar. This is for Philando. This is for the people that can't speak no more. We are here representing them. Each of those people, they passed, but they're not gone. They all live in our hearts. They all know. They all watching us. They know we ain't dying, babe. 